Hey guys, Crew of Blind Wave back. I'm Cal. Rick. And we are back with another movie reaction. Um, this one was a pick, crew pick. We decided to watch Ford vs. Ferrari. Yep. Because neither of us had seen it. Nope. And we want to. I've wanted to watch it, yeah, for a while. I'm excited. Yeah. Ever since I watched Initial D, my interest in cars <laughs> skyrocketed. skyrocketed. <laughs> Up. Up to the roof, so excited to watch a, a racing movie. Yeah, now this is an area that uh, of history that I'm not tremendously familiar with, uh, specifically with the type of racing and everything. But I do know some of the backstory. Okay. Um, very, cool. very famous uh, car, I believe, was developed out of this story. So. Yeah, uh, seeing like the description of the movie, I saw a name. That mm -hmm. was very familiar. So yes. Like, <laughs> that car probably came from this. Yeah. Um, other than just, obviously, Ferrari. But yeah. Yeah, and I've heard of some of the actors, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, tell them where they can see the full length. Well, if you want to watch along with us using your own footage, you can head over to blindwave.com where you can gain access to full length uh, for every reaction that we do, pretty much. So you can go over there, you can sync it up, watch along with us, get it all, check it out. Yeah. Are we ready? I am ready. Start your engines! Wish it was on its side and they were racing around yeah. the circle. That would be, be really great. It was a missed opportunity, I think. If he keeps this pace up, he could have a chance at the... Ah, uh, first person. This is how I play racing games. Fuel's empty. <laughs> That's when your car's the lightest. Oh, oh good lord. There was... <laughs> so little safety back then. Feel the tank! For. You just Am I on fire? Am I on goddamn fire? No, no you're not on fire. Fill the tank. Fill the tank. It's like the Undertaker. <laughs> and um, okay, what's the name of that big movie? Did he nearly catch fire? He did catch fire. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the pyro. Uh, <laughs> it was a problem. Got him. He's just in his little like cage that they have to wait until they get out, just dousing himself with water. Ugh, rough. An elevated heart rate, say 130 BPM, sustained even for a short period, you run a critical risk of cardiac arrest. Well, I'll race shorter format then. That's not gonna work. Oh, I could race NASCAR, Formula One. The valve is shot, Shelby. There's a point, 7,000 RPM, where everything fades. The machine becomes weightless. Just disappears. I don't know if he's gonna listen. Yeah, I don't know. That there, that is a sport car. You have to drive her like a sport car. If you drive her like a school teacher, she'll clog up. All right. Try changing up at 5,000 RPM, not two. Drive like you mean it. Are you telling me I don't know how to drive my own car? No. But if you ask me, this isn't your car. Your car's more uh, Plymouth, Studebaker. Another satisfied customer. Is it fast? Very. Wait a second. What type of girl are you? Type of girl who likes the smell of wet gasoline. Oh. And um, rubber. Oh. What are you, some kind of a deviant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I married you. What? John Bernthal! <laughs> Out of nowhere! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know he was in this. That's the sound of the Ford Motor Company out of business. 
Here's what I want you to do. Walk home. While you're walking, I want you to ruminate. Man comes to my office with an idea, that man keeps his job. Rest of you second best losers, stay home. You don't belong at Ford. It's pretty harsh. A little bit. It's all block of Model A's just the other day. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Paragraph 15.4, Section 2B of the SCCA standard dictates all AF class cars must have minimum trunk space of 20 inches by 12 inches by 6 inches. Your trunk doesn't close. Ergo car fail standard. Wait, wait, wait. What? Ergo car is disqualified from said no, class no, no. A. No, 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 no. I'm ruling you and your team disqualified from this race. And you're requiring a race car to have trunk space. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta put the spare tire somewhere. Leave that with the crew. <laughs> well, Brumos is looking for a driver for our number two car at Sebring. Is that right? How is that even possible? I think your guy Miles can make the grade. Oh, well, yeah. You can stick this bloody sticker with some... Hey, hey, Bill. Right. Hey, Bill, what seems to be the problem? Well, the problem, problem is, is that Bill here is an arsehole. No, he doesn't mean that. No, well, yes, he does. No. <laughs> he does really think Bill. that he Bill is an arsehole. No, right. I understand you are. You know how he gets on the race day. You know that. All right. He's going to make that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Bill! <laughs> Bulldog. Uh, you know who that was I was just talking to? Bill. Before that. Nope. It was Dieter Voss. Who's that? He runs Porsche. Right. He wanted you to drive at Sebring, but he'd heard you were different. Sure that this well, this waged his fears. Yeah. Oh, I thought we felt the same way. And, uh, Don't make me lap this at your head. Did you bring your son all the way out here to watch you get disqualified or just act like a jackass? <laughs> well that answers that. <laughs> May I help you, gentlemen? They're from the bank. Yes, is Ken Miles here? No. Probably. We need to speak to Mr. Miles. I'm his wife. There's tiny little windshields. Ken! Great driving. What happened to your shield? You design! Weight reduction. <laughs> that one didn't last long. Nope. Didn't get the RPMs up. Engine plug. <laughs> I'm gonna outbreak you on the next turn, Bob! He's psyching him out. <laughs> 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 nice try, Bob! Man. I'm just falling everywhere. Yeah. It's like they're playing Mario Kart and getting hit my shells. This is why you don't race in the desert. It's one of the good reasons. Yeah. Also, see where the track is lighter? Yeah. That's all sand, which makes it extremely slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Drafting off of him, he's gonna get a slingshot. Mickey got him by a fender.
the IRS came. Oh. They've padlocked the garage. All right, Petey. Worse than the bank. Mm -hmm. In 1945, our soldiers came home. What was the first thing that they did? Fucked. They had sex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect. James Bond does not drive a Ford, sir. That's because he's a degenerate. <laughs> See? God, I'd like to be a degenerate. Um, just give me one second here. Is sir. this part of it? In the last three years, you and your marketing team have presided over the worst sales slump in U.S. history. But he's right. Why exactly should Mr. Ford listen to you? We need to think like Ferrari. Ferrari makes fewer cars in a year than we make in a day. This would take years, decades to test and develop a race team capable of taking out Ferrari. Ferrari's bankrupt. Enzo has spent every lira he's got chasing perfection. You know something? He got there. And now he's broke. Like a good opportunity. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you just go right over that fence. Yeah. It's waist high. <laughs> Much smaller building. Mm hmm. A lot more personality. Yep. Uh, Scoo's up. Please. No photos. Prego. Just for history. Four layers go on voyage. One man assembles the entire engine by himself. Another man assembles the transmission. Everything hand built. Police it. That's it. <laughs> Ford will pay the sum. Per assicurarsela, uh, Ford pagherà la somma di. Dieci. Milioni di dollari. Ten million? Excuse me. Avrò bisogno di un po' di tempo per leggere. You will need some time to read this. That's not a bike path. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is that. Cercando di andare. Perché sto cercando di Agnelli per portare da Fiat. È occupato. Agnelli! Agnelli, scusa. Fiat. Assolutamente a vederle. Posso venire? Oh, the competition. Mm -hmm. Selling the pictures. Hey, Ferrari's getting a buyout. So, this is going to be a bid for Ferrari? Mm -hmm. È profondamente offesa dalla vostra proposta. My integrity as a constructor, as a man, as an Italian, is deeply insulted by your proposal. Tornatevene in Michigan. Go back to Michigan. Insignificanti macchine. Back to your big ugly factory making its ugly little cars. E dite a quel porco del vostro padrone. Tell your pig-headed boss that all his, uh, smug executives are, uh, <laughs> worthless sons of horse. That's quite the no. Yeah. Tell him he's not Henry Ford. He's Henry Ford the second. Tranquilo, con una fanda morire, non tema mai niente. Come was the grandfather? Well, how's he the second? His father could have been named something else, and then his father named him Henry Ford. Does it work that way? I think so. As long as it's in like a family, right? Like direct lineage. He used us to up his price. To embarrass our company to insult your leadership. It was a bad idea from the start. What exactly did he say? Mm. <laughs> he called you fat, sir. Mm. 
Better than the alternative. <laughs> they get it. Go on. He said you're not Henry Ford. Oh. You're Henry Ford the second. Well, now we got beat him. It's the one opportunity you get to say that to his face, though. <laughs> you don't like your boss. <laughs> I want the best engineers, the best drivers. I don't care what it costs. We're gonna build a race car. Why? Just steal him for one second. You take the payment. Whatever you do, do not let him take that car. That's Jeff Blitzer's car. You bring Collins and Steve McQueen's? I forgot about McQueen. How do you forget about McQueen? Warren, I help you? Carol Shelby. Money can buy speed. But it isn't about speed, Lee. It's not just like those other tracks where all you do is turn to the left for four hours. To win that race, you need a car that's light enough to do 200 on the straightaways, but strong enough to keep that up for 3,000 miles without a break. Le Mans eight and a half miles of country road. It's narrow, ungraded, it's rough. There's no camber on the turns, no rails. You gotta do that for 24 hours. Ford Motor Company can build the greatest race car the world's ever seen. I think that we are incapable of winning an event like that. Even if we had a brilliant partner. Even if we wrote a uh, blank check. What I'm saying is you can't buy a win, Lee. But maybe you could buy the guy who gets you a shot. <laughs> you can buy me. <laughs> I'm for sale. How long did you tell them that you needed? Two, three hundred years? <laughs> Ninety days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just look at this. Mm. Have you ever been to Detroit? I mean, they have floors and floors of lawyers and millions of marketing guys, and they're all going to want to meet you. Oh, they're going to want to get their photo taken with the great Carol Shelby, and they're going to kiss your ass, and they're going to go back to their lovely offices. And they're going to work out new ways to screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Help it. Because they just want to please their boss. He wants to please his boss. He wants to please his boss. Would you ask him to keep his hands off the paintwork? I don't know, Peter. You're OK. Who are you? Leo Beebe, Senior Executive Vice President Ford Motor Company. Uh, I'm responsible for the launch of the Mustang. It's a lump of lard dressed up to fool the public. My advice is lose the inline six and that idiotic three-speed, shorten the wheelbase, somehow lose half a ton, and lower the price. Dad. But even then, I'll still choose a Chevy Chevelle. <laughs> That's a fucking terrible car. <laughs> How you doing out there, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Carol? I had an instructor tell me Said. Down, I would say it's probably like your time to buckle up. Everybody in favor, stay on the ground. <laughs> that's, that's a true story. Oh, oh no. It's not wartime, dude. <laughs> Everything all right up there? Oh, oh no. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Tell you what, that's like riding a bike. Say hello to Ken Miles and his son yeah. Peter. Where are you from? We, uh, we met. We met. Yeah. Making an impression already. So, um, well, it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Some pop. I am here to help you, Carol. But you gotta trust me. Shelby American. Excuse me, look. Carol. Do not step on that stage if you don't trust me. Please welcome Mr. Carol Shelby. Not a word. What he said, he gets the drill. <laughs> mm. I'm that guy, and I know one other man feels exactly the same. His name is Mr. Henry Ford. <laughs> and together, we're gonna build the fastest automobiles in the world. Let's go. My name is Carol Shelby. 
I build race cars. No, I just, I'm spent. I want to have a bath. You're going to want to see this. Trust me. 30 minutes. I'll have you back for meatloaf and gravy. 30 minutes. Yep. Shelby Cobras are so pretty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's still a little on the rare side of cooks. And awful. Yeah, it doesn't track. You know, the third gear is too high. Uh, the torque is not reaching the road. Uh, the steering's loose because the front end gets light. And over 140 thinks it's a uh, airplane. Uh, yeah. And it wants to lift off and fly. Wedge wide. nose. Anything else? Meatloaf, huh? Summing up, love. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're driving very fast. Oh, am I? Am I? Yes, you are. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing? Who is this? Well, you tell me, because I don't know. What the hell? It's a bit of racing fun, no? No, 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 it's not the same at all. For me a job, four days a car that they want to put up against a Ferrari. You told That's me you were done. I didn't say yes. Don't make it a secret what you want or what you feel just because you, you think it's going to make me happy. Well, I don't even know what I feel. It's 200 a day. Plus expenses. Are you shitting me? <laughs> but. I haven't decided. Two hundred dollars a day. Are you nuts? <laughs> Looking a bit more familiar. Get some scotch tape and a ball of wool. <laughs> good, good, good. What are they doing? Making your car faster. Without putting max horsepower from this displacement. So put in a bigger engine. Where are we gonna put it on the roof? <laughs> put it in the back. <laughs> Don't need a truck then, huh? Yep. You already put that in a GT40. <laughs> I'm afraid we have. <laughs> Perhaps you want to check with HQ before you test. What did he say? We should ask. What did he say? <laughs> there you go. You know, Lee here asked me a while back, what's the one thing money can't buy? I'll tell you what it is. A pure racer behind the wheel of your car. That's Ken Miles. Well, be that as it may, we think he may be too pure. Put a Ford-type driver in a Ford car, Mr. Shelby. That's the Ford way. You put wedges You're not in coming next week. This Ford's call. It is their opinion that you are not a good image, so you cannot drive their race car. I'm gonna reroute the oil line if there's spillage it could drip onto the rear near side disc. Yeah. Tell the boys to watch their pace come sunrise. The, uh, the gearbox will overheat. Hey, a little bit quick right now. I 
Don't seem too hot. Cascade. Is this the Le Mans or another race? I think it's Le Mans. Just based on how long it's going, I'm not sure. seen this movie and I think it's this one. Yeah. Give me one reason why I don't fire everyone associated with this abomination, starting with you. The good news, as I see it, is that even with all the extra weight, we still managed to put old Mr. Ferrari exactly where we want him. A lot of stuff broke. In fact, the only thing that didn't break was the brakes. <laughs> Hell, right now, we don't even know if our paint job will last a whole 24 hours. But our last lap, we clocked 218 miles an hour down the Mulsanne Strait. Now, in all his years of racing, old Enzo ain't never seen anything move that fast. That man is scared to death that this year, you actually might be smart enough to start trusting me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Carol. Go to war. Thank you, sir. Why don't you just come inside? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, while well, you're across the street. You want me to beg? I don't know. Let's try it out. Let's uh, see how that feels. <laughs> Do you have any idea the kind of shit that I had to eat just to get four wheels on that grid? No, you don't, because you don't deal with any of that stuff. Now knock it off, Ken. We got work to do, and this car ain't going to build itself. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> Pop, please. You want one too, Shelby? No. Oh, yes, please, no. Marley. No. He got his own. <laughs> for me, please. <laughs> you be bloody thing. You do on yeah. AR, that thing. I call that the llama Shelby. bite. Bloody your name. <laughs> 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 All the Girl Scouts. You want to go again? That's a bit more familiar. You see that crack? That's my marker for turn eight. What, to slow down? Uh, brush the brakes and downshift. You're going fast, but as the car speeds up, everything else slows down. You don't do that. You do this, right? And then you see everything out there is the perfect lap no mistakes every gear change every corner perfect you see it i think so most people can't most people don't even know it's out there but it is you want some ice cream yeah. Alright. Come on then. You know what this marker is? What? That one. Put my finger. You'll find out. <laughs> oh. oh no. 
cooked the brake fade. Instead of swapping out the pads in the pits, swap out the entire braking system, rotors included. Put in a fresh one. Wait, 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 Pops. Are we allowed to do that? I don't know. I don't read French. <laughs> so as long as you get out of the car, you're OK. Dad got out. He sure did. You got a plan? Absolutely. Good one. It's high risk. No high risk. Extremely high risk. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Leo. Truly, I do. <laughs> He's gonna get an ass kicking. <laughs> <laughs> inform you that I have been appointed overall executive director of the racing program. Well, I assure you, Leo, it will not. <laughs> open the door! Hey, open the door! Open the door! <laughs> Just to hold me right there, and you take my hand. Oh, God! I sat on my nuts. We're gonna build the next one for comfort, don't you worry. You ready? The name on the middle of that steering wheel should tell you that I was born ready, Shelby. Hit it. That a boy. <laughs> I had no idea. I wish my daddy he were alive to see this. <laughs> to feel this. Now this is not a machine does anybody can get in and easily control. Absolutely not. I had no idea. Now you want to win Le Mans. You really want to take first place. Ken Miles is a man to do it. You know I've already appointed Leo BB director. Which of is racing. exactly why I'm talking to you. Now you let Ken Miles race Daytona. If he wins, he gets to drive Le Mans. And if he doesn't? Ford Motor Company gets full ownership of Shelby American. Lock, stock, and brand forever. Risk. High reward. For Ford, anyway. I can push her harder than six, Shell. I can feel it. Uh huh. How come these guys hit so much faster than we do? We got a goddamn NASCAR crew, that's why. No shit. No shit. And they came in after. Yeah. He said to ask how the brakes. The brakes, yes. No, 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 they're working. But now, you know. 
for now. <laughs> Over 9,000! <000. laughs> All right. <laughs> Set. You won! <laughs> Someone lost the point dog on the beach! No, 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 come on, come on! I will wake you before I leave for France. I promise. Okay. Good night. I really can't sleep. There's so much light coming in that room. I couldn't sleep. <laughs> Close the curtains. Light blocking. Is that technology not available yet? <laughs> Dense fabric. I'm gonna go walk the first corner. No, I figured. <laughs> Counting on it. or every four hours too in the audience? No. <laughs> Man, the audience is real close to the track. Just behind a bunch of hay bales. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Different time. <laughs> no crash fences or huh. anything. Towards himself here, huh? Mm-hmm. They have to run to their cars. Yep. It's so silly. It's tradition. <laughs> Hit on turn one. 
That would be very unfortunate. Yeah, what else do you do? I think it's his door. Take it off. With your aerodynamics. Uh, will it open now? <laughs> Crawl out the passenger side. Worry about I guess. that later. Yeah. <laughs> I've got four hours to worry about that. I'm just worried if he crashes or something, you know? Yeah. Can't escape. Yeah. I think so. A Porsche? <laughs> Number 20, Ludovico Scafiotti has also met the track. That's why you have race marshals. Mr. Fools probably got somewhere nice for dinner. What do you mean, probably? <laughs> 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 He's <That's> got <laughs> a point. <laughs> suffers. Should be helping. Yeah, cool down. But it's moving too fast, you know. Oh no. Breaks! Nothing! Gone! Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Be hot, don't do that barehanded. Yeah, <laughs> nothing in the rules that says the dog can't race Le Mans. Yeah, calm down. This is not, this is you not me where it says in that little rule book <laughs> where I can't swap out my upright assembly. We read your damn rule book. <laughs> 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 Seem like an easy thing to do. No. 
Oh no. That's so mean. <laughs> oh, to call him in. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> we have to check the whole car. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so cheap. It is. It's so cheap. It would be difficult to build back the confidence of having yeah. no brakes. What'd you come here for? It's looking like a normal road. Well, he said it's like country road yeah. that they race on. Let's be on that smoke. I know, could be another car. <laughs> uh. Oh, uh. that sucks. Oh my god. Oh my god! Bloody hell! Enzo's gonna be pissed. Mm. <laughs> uh, is he gonna have like two did not finishes? So we're lying Ken first and two and three, all false. Top three? Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if all three Fords lined up across the finish line at the exact same time? Miles is laps ahead. Leo would. <laughs> what would you have him do? Slow down? Yeah. That's not a race. Yeah. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking that you be a team player. Make that photograph happen. That photo. That's good. That is good. Hmm. Can't even if you die for first. Still be the first man ever to win. Sebring, Daytona, and Le Mans in the same year. Yeah, the Triple Crown. My choice. Your choice. I don't think he's gonna slow down. Would you? <laughs> if your other teams had to catch up by four or five minutes? Oh. <laughs> I feel like you would want like a dominating victory. Don't answer that. Get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> He was the guy that made that stupid sign earlier. <laughs> <laughs> take it off the wall. Well, I might take it a little easy. Like if you're gonna win anyway, you don't wanna blow sure. up the car. Not yeah. Got that perfect lap yet. Yep. He's gonna lap his own <laughs> team. <laughs> now. I'm not chanting Ford. No. New lap record, new speed record. For 30.6, that's another record. It's a perfect lap. HJPP1! HJPP1! <laughs> Catching up to him? Maybe. Or is he gonna slow down? Slowing down. I suppose that's fair, he made his point. Yeah.
It's not a tie. No, because McLaren Look, because McLaren started further back. He's saying he's travelled that little bit further, so we. Uh, bullshit. What? That's bullshit. Shell. Hold on. That's. Not how races work. Where's the tie? Where's the goddamn tie? What? Oh, hey, 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 you knew. You knew. Oh, enough. 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 McLaren has been ruled the winner as he started from farther back. Some bullshit. Shit has slowed down. Read that rule book. Clear. Never should have asked you. Let me take a shower, get a cup of tea. I mean, she's cop or something. We're gonna get the bastard next year. p.m. where everything fades you feel it coming creeps up on you close in your ear no I ask you a question the only question that matters he's not wearing a fire suit Sometimes I don't get out of the car. Shelby. Oh, hello, Pete. I remember that wrench. My dad threw it at you. <laughs> I believe you did. Tools are useful because you can make stuff with them and you can fix stuff with them. Here. Thanks. Your daddy was, uh, He was your friend. Yes, he was. And he thought you was just finer than frog fur. Pizza! Yeah. Fair, that's on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Huh. Well, as far as racing movies goes, it's a hell of a story. Yeah. Definitely. I assume based on a true story. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, it is. Not all stories have happy endings. No. I mean, I guess we won, but... Yeah. It's always hilarious when America is framed as the underdog. Mm -hmm. But I guess in Le Mans, at least we are. Yeah, back then it was all European and especially Italian. They they had the <laughs> <laughs> secret they sauce. They had it. They had the secret sauce. Everything <laughs> that uh, made a good 
race car they had in spades. Well, like Ferrari here, it seemed like hands-on, like one vision. Mm-hmm. Ford is just this conglomeration of it's red tape and it's everything wrong with with <laughs> corporate <laughs> <Yeah>. America. <laughs> Ferraris are still handmade, yeah. hand-assembled engines by one by one technician. Yeah, I mean, that's was Ford's thing, right? Like the assembly line. Yep, moving assembly line. Yep. And, like yep. Mass production. That's what made him and in some ways made America Yeah. after him. But yeah, it was not uh, not necessarily peak quality. No. <laughs> Quantity, yes. <laughs> quality, no. <laughs> And uh, that's still the case, I think. Yeah, I think so. I drove a Ford forever. It was my first car. A Taurus. Yeah. It was my first vehicle as well. F-150. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's a Ford mechanic. Diesel, mostly, but... A lot of, a lot of Ford love. A lot in... Growing yeah, up. Especially... <laughs> Yeah, it's a farming community mostly, mm-hmm. so a lot of farm trucks, a lot of kids growing up and driving Fords, and always with the, the Ford-Chevy oh, rivalry. Yeah. No, I had one dad that was Ford and one dad that was Chevy. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for interesting Thanksgivings. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, don't have a whole lot to say about it. I. I've always loved the the design and everything of the GT40. Mm-hmm. Iconic. Like, even me not being a car guy, I've seen that car. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, uh, the first racing game that I ever played was, was for the Xbox, the original Xbox. I think it was GT2002, mm-hmm. maybe? And my favorite car in that whole game was the GT. Yeah. It was, you could do anything with it. It was great. (laughs) I loved it so much, but. My uncle had a Shelby Mustang. Yeah. Yeah, for a little while there. Yeah, like, I've heard the name Shelby. I've heard the name McLaren. I've never heard Ken Miller. Uh, is that right? Ken? Wasn't it? Miller? I thought thought it was Ken Miller. (laughs) Definitely Ken. Yeah, Ken. I thought it was Ken Miller, but yeah, no, I've never heard his name till now. But I mean, I've I've heard it one time before. I actually, um, like in in to deal with the development of the GT40, um, it was some YouTube video or part of a documentary or something like that about uh, Ford racing. Um, but yeah, he was. Instrumental, along with Shelby, in, in developing the car from uh, an engineering and a, a driver's perspective. Yeah. That's, and, uh, like, getting it done that quickly. Yeah. It's they, crazy. They had a car. It didn't do the best, but they had a car in 90 days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, for the amount of preparation, it's it's not it's not the race where you win. It's It's... The years and the months ahead of time yeah. of building the car that can last doing that amount of work for 24 hours. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I can't imagine racing for four hours. Like, after just driving on the highway for four hours, I'm, yeah. like, starting to you're, get a little you're tired. You're bent. Yeah. <laughs> but racing for four hours straight in those conditions. And, you know, those cars, they don't have air conditioning. No. They had the worst kind of ventilated fire suits and you know they didn't have like nowadays they have ice boxes in the car with water in them that pump ice water through your fire suit to keep you cool which is super nice they didn't have that shit back then (laughs) no yeah but like they've also got to be largely working cars because they're driving in the rain so you gotta have windshield wipers you gotta have Mm -hmm. lights yeah like it's just kind of Almost just conditions you would drive in here. Mm hmm. Just doing it as fast as you can do it with all these other cars and just crashing.
crashing everywhere. Run into your car to begin with. Run into your car to start, yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's, silly. It, it is silly, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that, like, started from. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what would possess... I wonder if it started as, like, some sort of triathlon where you got to run and then you drive... Maybe. And, and then know. you get out and hang glide or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the cars do actually take off. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, yeah, I thought the performances were all really good. Mm-hmm. Um, like Christian Bale especially. I just kind of lost him in the character. No, yeah. It's the first time I think I've actually seen him play a character with his own accent. Yeah. Yeah. Probably for me too. Yeah. Miles. That's his name. Huh? Ken Miles. Ken Miles. Not Miller. That's it. Miles per hour. Yeah. That works. Um Yeah, I I thought they were good. Like it's it's a simple story, but one you can get behind, right? Sure. Like the you underdog. Can, you can root for the Shelby team. Yeah. Because like uh corporate America that <laughs> That Beeb guy or whatever his name is 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 ruining this good movie. But yeah, I, no, it's just you know. I figure some of that is a little bit embellished. Oh yeah, I'm sure. And yeah, I, and I wonder yeah. like, because Ken is put in a pretty good light here, but like I wonder how close that is sure. to reality. Because yeah, it seemed like he was relatively good, like family man, husband, sure, father. Yeah, and then the best racer in the world and his. In his field, I guess. Yeah, for for the time, definitely. Yeah, burnt bright and short, unfortunately. Yeah. I love the scene of Shelby in Henry Ford in the car. Yeah, when he's just sobbing, <laughs> <laughs> just like so in awe of what man has created. Yeah, you know. I had no idea. I had no idea. You do whatever you want. <laughs> this, is, this is fantastic. Uh, yeah. And I, I'd seen the scene before of, like, after they had failed and they're in, like, his office and talking. Yeah. Like, I somehow come across that scene. Yeah, the only scene that I had ever seen was just, like, the 30 seconds of Ken and his son going to the, the Mustang reveal. And him talking shit about the Mustang to the uh, vice president of yeah. the company. <laughs> That's the only thing I had seen. So I knew like he was going to be sour from the beginning. Not a people person. No. He's a car guy. As they say. That's probably what made him so difficult to, in, in their eyes, difficult to work with. Yeah. Because he wasn't like, he was not one for the crowds. He was for the track. So if you had all the money in the world... Today, like Ford or Ferrari. What race? Uh, uh, or or just like just if you could buy any car yeah. of anything. Oh man, <sighs> I don't really keep up with them. Like I, I, you know, I know the name Ferrari, but I have no idea what like Ford's top line, whatever is now. I like mean, I know the Mustangs and electric SUV now. Yeah. It's just crazy to think. Far removed from from these days. Yeah. Honestly, if I was going to have one, Ferraris are more exclusive. Yeah. Which drives their price up, and it makes it, like... They're, it's tough to maintain. Well, sure, yeah. But, like, Ferrari, they don't sell cars to people. They sell cars to... To Ferrari people, sure. Like you have to to order a new Ferrari, you have to have owned a previous Ferrari for a certain number of years. Like you have to have like a pedigree hmm. to own a Ferrari, <laughs> and because they're so exclusive, they're they're so difficult to get a hold of and yeah. everything. It it makes them valuable, but if I owned a Ferrari, I would probably sell it. Because it is prohibitively expensive to own and maintain a Ferrari. Sure. So, given the choice, 
I would probably take the Ferrari, sell it, and then buy a Ford GT because <laughs> they're so rare now. <laughs> and they're so unique. Yeah. Like, I've been to three car shows, and I've never seen a bigger crowd around a car than a Ford GT 40. Yeah. And they're... They're short enough they can drive under a semi trailer <laughs> while it's driving. <laughs> I'm sure the semi wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they would not. Uh, one little crazy. mistake and you're just a speed bump. Huh. But yeah, no, I enjoyed this one quite a lot. Well shot, the races were good. No, oh, yeah. I haven't seen a lot of racing movies, but I don't enjoy just watching racing like as a sport usually. Not usually. I, I watch the highlights. Unless it's rally. Sure. In which case, there's <laughs> nothing boring about that sport. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I understood what was going on. Like I understood the stakes. And that's um, something I always appreciate in a movie that's covering something I am not an expert on. Yeah. So I was able to be involved in the drama without feeling like I was being left too far behind. Although I didn't quite understand um, when he got left behind and couldn't go to France. I wasn't sure what race that was. That was... Um, it wasn't Le Mans, right? Or it was, and he ran the it, next year's Le Mans? He did, yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it was It was the... Um, the 33rd Le Mans race. Uh, and then the next year, after he had gotten his bid to be the driver, mm -hmm. that was the, the 34th. Got it. Okay. Um, if I'm remembering the the announcer on the radio when he was in the garage with his wife, they were saying like the the 33rd renewal of the 24 Hours of Le Mans race. I just missed it. All right, you have anything else? No, it was great. I think I think they played the characters very well, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Screw that beep guy. <laughs> <laughs> he always plays the most hateable character, the most punchable uh, face. Yeah. It's, nah. yeah I, it I respect rough. him, but I... He was uh, definitely a dickless in he this. He was definitely a dickless <laughs> in this. <laughs> Absolutely. But you gotta have your villain. And yeah. Ferrari's just too cool. He, yeah. He's, he's too much of a class act. Yeah. So. Fun one. Yep. Good time. Definitely. Thanks for joining us. This was a pick by us, but every other week a movie is selected by our patrons over patreon.com slash blindwave where you can vote on five options and mm -hmm. see which one pulls ahead into the lead and makes it onto the channel. The choice is yours. Go over and vote. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.